What's up my crazy subscriber, this is Joking Johnson 4 and today we're going to be talking about the Black Ops 3 DLC. And by the way, yes I know, I do sound crappy right now, my voice is not correct. And uh, I want to apologize for that, it's just that I've been sick in the past few days, so please forgive me. But I really want to do a video, I really want to talk about, you know, Black Ops stuff, so, um, you know, please forgive me on the way I sound. It's just that I've been really sick. So anyways, Black Ops 3 DLC is around the corner in the month of February. And, um, well, we already know what we're going to get, a bunch of maps. I'm surprised it didn't give us a weapon oh, DLC, like, right away, because, you know, Black Ops 2 started the weapon DLC thing, and then it transferred over to, um, you know, the next Call of Duty games. And, um, I'm surprised it didn't pull it out, like, right away. I'm guessing they're trying to surprise us for later on, seeing that, uh, you know, a lot, not, there's not a lot of people playing Black Ops 3, and they want to expand the experience, so I'm pretty sure they're going to deliver us, like, one thing at a time. Because, at first, I thought the first DLC was going to deliver a extra specialist character, or maybe another weapon. Which they should have, but I'm guessing we're just going to get regular maps. So, um, one of my ideas is they should bring a specialist character as a DLC. I don't know what's gonna be, maybe a cloaker from you know Destiny or something, I don't know. But they really need to add more specialists. The ones that we already have are like no, we already I already used them all, so I'm getting bored of them like a little bit. Uh but I know the people that are really playing this game are really using them, so uh I know they haven't experienced the full thing, but once you're done, I mean, what are you gonna use next? So I'm hoping they bring in two new specialists in the future. Another thing that I wanted to bring back, old school guns. Remember, the Famas, the Galeo, the Commando from Black Ops 1, and Black Ops 2, there was also some special weapons in that game, like the Scar, or the PDW, or the Vector. You know, all those weapons were pretty much good. And I would love to see them back here in Black Ops 3, because it would be nice to see some of the modern weapons, or some of the old school weapons, in the game. Because all we have right now is some kind of a, of a, I believe, like, you know, it's a mix-up. So, um... Hybrids. There are pretty much all hybrids at this point because I know the Weevil seems super similar to the P90, but it's also combined with some other kind of weapon, and it doesn't feel like the P90. So, you see that we all we have in this game is a bunch of hybrid weapons. Let's just hope they bring us the original guns back, like the PDW, the Vector, or maybe the MP7. That would be nice enough, you know. The MP7 was in every single Call of Duty game, and also the regular AK, even though the KN looks similar to it. Hmm. Or the AK-74U. You know, the AK-74U was my favorite weapon of all time back in Black Ops 1. I achieved so much with that weapon. I, my highest amount of kills I got with, a, with that weapon was 98 kills. And that was a hell of a gameplay, man, because they call it like five chopper gunners and shit. And it was total insanity. I love the AK-74U. Let's just hope they bring in some of the old school weapons. Another old school weapon I want to talk about will be the Thompson from Call of Duty World at War. Let's just hope they go in a little bit classic or something like that. One thing that I really do not want in the DLC packages is the, you know, laser guns. We all know what happened in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Nobody fucking wanted them. I didn't want them. I, nobody wanted to. So, I don't know. Advanced Warfare, Advanced Warfare to me wasn't that good of a game. But still, nobody fucking wanted some laser guns in the game. And um, I believe that was some bad DLC. So, um... Yeah, let's just hope no laser guns in the game, no constant power beams, because th there was a bunch of those in, in uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, so please do not deliver power beams, or whatever you want to call them, power rays of freaking beam of light or whatever, to like into the game. Do not make those kinds of weapons. So, um, yeah, those are my likes, my dislikes. Um, specialist characters, I have no idea what they should add. Maybe somebody who can create an earthquake, that would be cool enough. Uh, so maybe somebody who can make it rain for a bit and make some damage, fire rain or something, that'll be good. Like, but like a small area, like that'll be good enough. So, um, so yeah, that that those kinds of ideas are pretty good compared to any of them. Like what they're thinking of right now, like Vonderkar, I'm pretty sure he's thinking like, oh, maybe we should add laser guns or something. No, please do not go full Star Wars. All I want my game to be is the original COD that it used to be. So as I said, guys, subscribe for more. You guys want to hear more topics about Black Ops?